Welcome everyone, in this tutorial we are going to build a QSAR model using the hologram QSAR method in Kim Master software. So you can find this dataset in the description below. So this dataset contains 70 compounds of the CDK2 inhibitors and we have the activity already scaled. So if your activity is not scaled, you can simply scale from the QSAR menu and scale. Now to build a hologram QSAR model from the QSAR menu, select Edge QSAR and then build model. First we specify the structures that we want to use. I will select all the structures and as for the Y variable, I will use the PIC50, the scaled IC50 value. And then for the X variables, we have to select the fingerprint type. So in the hologram method, the X variables or the descriptors are molecular fingerprints. And here I will select the circular one, the Morgan fingerprint. And this is the settings for the fingerprints. I will keep everything default. You can try different settings as well. And as for the dataset division, I will use a random division of 75% training set. And I will set the, set the seed to 42 to make it reproducible. And finally, in the model settings, the model name, and you can specify the feature selection. This will remove redundant features or basically those that have low variability or low variance. And as for the building method, currently we only have the PLS method. And here we can optionally perform a cross validation on the training set. This is just for additional validation and we will check this option to add a scatter plot of the predicted versus the real activity and I will click OK to build the model. So now we have the model built and as we can see the training and test set validation parameters are very good and generally the fingerprints are very useful type for the X variables and here we can also see the real versus predicted activity plot which shows that both training and test set compounds are very accurately predicted by the model and here you can see the settings for the model the parameters that were selected you can of course apply the model on a new data to predict the activity and the good thing here is that we don't need to manually calculate the descriptors or the x variables the model will internally calculate so we simply select the new structures that we want and click apply model and we will get the activity predicted for them now the most powerful thing about the EduQSAR method is the ability to visualize the model onto the structures this is because the used x variables are fingerprints and we can simply use the coefficients of the model to know the contribution of each atom to the activity. So to visualize the EduQSAR model from the QSAR menu, select EduQSAR and then visualize EduQSAR model. So here we have the Edu visualize EduQSAR dialog. First thing we select the model in case we have multiple models. And here we have the single model, the EduQSAR model. And then we have all the compounds available in the table and we can click on a compound for example i click on compound 3 and we can visualize the fragments and the atoms contribution so as for the fragments these are from the x variables or the fingerprints that were used to build the model and each one has a coefficient basically a negative coefficient means that the this fragment is negatively contributing to the activity and the higher the value it means the more effect it has on the activity so first I will sort descending so this is the higher coefficient which means that this fragment is contributing positively to the activity because it has a positive coefficient 
and the same thing for the other ones. On the other hand, a fragment like this is considered to be negatively contributing to the activity because it has a negative coefficient. And we can filter the fragments table. For example, if we only want the positive fragments, we can uncheck the negative and we can also specify the coefficient range. We can also check the number of atoms that we want to make it in a specific range. And you can visualize different structures as well. You simply click on the compound that you want and then click on the fragments to see their position on the compound itself. And note that the 2D drawings of compounds in, in this dialog are the same, follow the same options as the main table view. So by default, the hydrogens are not showing. So for example, the reason why here we have this nitrogen, the number of atoms too, is basically because it has a hydrogen attached, but because we are not showing the hydrogens here, the explicit hydrogens, it is not displayed. Now with regard to the atoms contribution visualization, this is the most default way or the most common way of visualizing the EDGQSAR models. Instead of visualizing the individual fragments, we simply accumulate the contribution for each atom and we can directly visualize on the structures. So atoms with more negative contribution means they are negatively affecting the activity and atoms with more positive contribution are positively affecting the activity. So you can see which parts of the structures are negatively impacting the activity and which ones are positively impacting the activity. And here we have a color map that corresponds to the contribution of each atom. We can change the color map, for example, for, from one of the available ones. And so, for example, those two atoms are negatively impacting the activity because they have a color that is corresponding to a more negative coefficient. On the other hand, those atoms are actually positively impacting the activity and those as well because they have a higher atom contribution value. On the other hand, those atoms seem to be in the middle or not significantly impacting the activity. And actually, if we study this data set, we know that the lack of a double bond here is negatively impacting the activity. In fact, all the highly active structures like those first ones, they all have this complete aromatic system. But the ones with low activity, they seem to lack the presence of double bonds. So this means that the model is successfully able to capture the structural information that is positively or negatively impacting the activity. Now, usually for visualizing the atom's contribution, I prefer the normal theme for colors. So from the help, select theme and classic. And also we'll change the structure drawing options. So from the view, click structure image options, and we will display the explicit hydrogens and click OK. So now when we visualize the HQSAR model atoms contribution, this gives us a better view and note that now we have the explicit hydrogens. And also this type is easier. You can change the color map as well. You can select from the different available color maps. This is just for visualization purposes. You can also save the image by right clicking and select save image. So this concludes our tutorial on the EDGQSAR modeling method. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below.